You can also record your own narrations and then place it inside of film strips inside of Adobe Captivate. So we're going to see exactly how to do that in this lesson right over here. So I have a film strip that is a slide over here in my Captivate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to associate a narration to it, something like a welcome message right over here. So I have this selected and as I select the slide, I have nothing else selected on my screen. I'm going to press the record button right over here. So once I press the record button, you have a recording window right over here, as you can see. So you got uh, like, like source select, you can select the system audio. So whatever plays out from your speaker is recorded, but I don't want that right now. I want to narrate. So here are the recording options and the mic select option over here. So we're going to come over here in a while. Over here on the bottom, you can see that you can import the narration right over here. So you can go over there and if you have a pre-recorded narration in MP3 or WAV format, you can import that out as well. Same goes for the library. So if your library is there, if you have imported audio before, then it, it'll open up your library right over here. So now let us uh, start recording. But before that, we do need to calibrate the mic so that we know that everything records well. So you can see that there's devices as option right over here, device option. Simply click on it and choose the microphone which you want to record from. In my case, there are multiple microphones, so I'm going to choose the USB microphone which I use normally. This is my internal microphone of the laptop. This one is the uh, one, the external microphone that I use. So I'm just going to keep that. Here you can select the bitrate that is constant or variable bitrate as you can see. So constant bitrate are easier on the system, but variable bitrate are actually better on file size and quality. I usually prefer it. So I'm going to keep this as the highest quality right over here. So it does take up file size, but does not audio does not take up much file size. So it's usually not very uh, bad to record it in highest quality. And before you start recording, you do need to calibrate your input as well so that you have net less noise as possible. So I'm just going to keep, click on calibrate input right over here. And I'm just going to click auto calibrate right over here. Hello there, mic testing. Hello there. So now once it, it is calibrated, it says input level OK. So it'll make sure that the uh, microphone is not overweight to the top when it comes to volume and everything. If you don't calibrate, then uh, once you record it, it might just blow off um, while, while it's recording, which is usually not a good idea. So I'm just going to press OK right over here and OK again. And now I can start recording. So I'm just going to record a welcome message right over here, which fills up the entire slide. Hello there, and welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. And once you're happy, you can just press stop. You can see that there's a little audio wave right over here, but they don't seem very, very loud. You can simply play it out to hear it out. Hello there. and So it's not very high on volume. You can also preview it out right over here, as you can see. So it's saving out the file right over here. So the, the preview is there. So there's the slide right over here. Um, for where this audio will be played. So I'm just going to go around here on the edit section now and here what you can do is you can trim and increase out the volume of uh, this audio wave right here. So I'm just going to increase out the volume. So I'm going to adjust the volume right over here and then just increase out the volume a bit. Press OK and you can see that the audio wave actually uh, increases inside. So let me just increase this in size over here, something around here. And you can see you don't want these audio waves to touch to the very end. So you just want a bit of increase right over there, just like this. So you can see that everything is okay right here. I want to delete the beginning part. So I'm just going to select this out and I'm going to cut it out right over here. So, or I can delete that out right over here or cut it, paste it somewhere else. So that means to select this out as well and delete that out. So I only have the parts of the audio that I want. So let me just play it out to hear what it says. Hello there, and welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. So that's there. So you can see that the slide actually disappears when it actually uh, reaches around five seconds because that is the length of the slide. But anyways, let me just press save right here. And it says, do you want to extend the display time to 4.3 seconds, which matches the new audio? So I do want to match it out with the slide. So I'm just going to say yes over here. 
So once I do that, I'm going to close it right over here. So if I were to preview this out right, right now, so if I were to go to preview and project, it'll play out that, that uh, audio along with the slide. Hello there, and welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. So you can see here that the picture disappears. So I can just adjust that in the timeline right over here. You can see that it's not very to the end. So I'm just going to go over here just like this. Uh, what I can also do is I can add in, uh, let's say the narration is here. I got the recording till here. I want the welcome to come right around from the end or something like that. So I'm just going to increase uh, the slide timing right over here and let's say the welcome appears somewhere over here just like this i'm going to increase the size of the picture over here as well so i'm going to go to the welcome right over here and then i can add an audio or while the welcome is selected i can record as well so this mini window appears where i can record uh my record audio associated with a particular object so i'm just going to record it out Welcome. And you can edit it out as usual. So you can adjust the volume right over here. So I'm just going to really increase the volume right there. I'm going to delete this out and del delete this out as well. Press save. And you can see that welcome now has an audio. So if I were to press the play button right here to preview the slide project, let's see how it sounds like. Hello there. And welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. Welcome. So you can see that as welcome pops up, the uh, other audio recording also pops up. So you can associate the recordings with like individual objects as well. So that is how you can record your own um, narrations inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.